Hi, Alan Sokal, and I am finally getting around to reviewing the uh, Mr. Gardner pizza box. It uh, is, in fact, a stainless box, and then inside there is a pizza stone. I'm sort of on the wrong side to grab it out, but it drops into a metal tray, holds it centered in position in this stainless steel box, and of course on the bottom of the box, and I'll probably lose this towel, uh, you can see the stone there, and uh, it's going to be exposed to the barbecue's uh, heat. Uh, I've got a gas barbecue, so this should work reasonably well. Um, I uh, took a couple of photos of my setup. I have had this uh, griddle. It's a commercial stainless steel griddle. I got it on Amazon. And much like this pizza box, this griddle sits right on top of the grills, uh, the grates. And uh, when I turn the heat up, uh, this gets hot just like uh, a restaurant's uh, hot top. And, uh, you know, I've uh, done pizzas and all sorts of things. I've never done pizza on this top here, but I have put pizza on the barbecue. What I want to do is I want to see a really good result on the crust. And um, in theory, this should do it. Bring it up to temperature, and um, then when I... Uh, put the uh, pizza on the stone. The stone is going to be nice and hot and the stainless steel is going to trap the heat and uh, hopefully evenly both uh, bake off the top of the pizza and the bottom of the pizza because the biggest problem in a typical oven and uh, we have a convection oven too plus we have air fryers. Um, it's a real task to just simply get a properly cooked pizza, both the dough so it's nice and crisp the way we like it, and then also cooking through the items on top because I have to be very careful to dry off all the ingredients so that, uh, that they cook well. Otherwise, you get a soggy pizza. So um, I'm going to go in and make a pizza, and it'll be with a pre-prepared dough. I apologize. But uh, I want to get that into the oven, and uh, I'll just do a half uh, pizza. And uh, I'm going to see how it, uh, it bakes out. I hope it works. I really do. Okay, well, I uh, started the uh, barbecue. I don't have it on high, high heat. We've got uh, four burner lines in this particular model of barbecue, gas barbecue. And um, so I've got it about uh, 60, 70% heat right now, maybe 60%, I don't know. But the uh, temperature gauge on the top is now just up to barbecue. I I want to get it up to um, the mid-range on what's called grill. And I'm going to put the top back down so that uh, we can capture and hold the heat. And uh, I'm going to go in and work on that pizza that I was talking about. Okay, well... I made the pizza. It's uh, basically uh, using a pre-made dough that you have to actually bake before you bake the pizza. So I had to bake the dough a little bit. And uh, then I basically did uh, artichoke heart and uh, pineapple. So I am going to load, or lock and load as we used to say, the pizza. And uh, I'm going to drop it into the oven. Uh, at this point, Temperature is in the grill area, 
and uh, it looks like it's where it needs to be. I'm going to push that in. I'm actually going to turn the heat up and I am going to close the door. And uh, pizza's in the oven, it's not here. So uh, we're going to check on it. I don't want to open the uh, barbecue too much. I think that's uh, going to reduce the heat. But uh, we'll just keep checking on it and see how it goes. Just okay, here. we're going back in. We're going to check on this pizza. It's only been, what, two minutes? Three, well, you wouldn't know, but it's been about two or three minutes. Looks like it's baking, definitely baking off. Um, Actually, it looks pretty good. The top is uh, is baking, and um, I'm hoping the crust is uh, is uh, baking out well. What I should do, by the way, I'm going to check the uh, gauge. It's in the middle of the far red side. I, I'll take a picture of that uh, so you can see that gauge up close. There might be a picture of it in the... Um, in the uh, vendor page or on the vendor page somewhere. But uh, my big concern again is crispy on the top, crispy crust below. And I, this is a, <laughs> this is a dough that, as you know, you slam it on the counter and open it up. So I didn't press it out and thin it out. I'm doing it pretty much the way it uh, started, which is a little over a quarter inch, maybe three eighths. So we'll see what happens. Okay, well, it's been about uh, five minutes now, maybe six minutes, and um, ah, maybe I'm pushing it. Maybe it's been three to four in the oven. So let's take another look. Boy, it does look like the crust is definitely baking out. There's just no question. I'm sort of interested in... Uh... Yep, it is sticking a bit. That's, I didn't want that. I didn't prep the stone. Oh, man. Okay. I rotated it 90 degrees. And uh, maybe it would be good to let you see what it looks like right now. There you go. So it's uh, baking on the top. The bottom is burnt. The top is not cooked enough. So maybe I have the heat up too high. I have another trick, by the way. I have, because I do sous vide cooking, I've got uh, some torches. So I may torch the top and show you that, too. It's another technique if the top of the pizza is, uh, is just too far from, um, you know, from, from being cooked the way you want it. And I mean... Okay. So... There's the pizza, and um, you can see the crust is sort of dark, which, I don't know, maybe it'll taste good. I have no idea. Well, at this point, I'm going to shut off the oven. Here's my sous vide torch. Quite hot, so I'm gonna try and cook off the top. and finish the pizza because there's no... Okay. Okie doke. So, with the use of a uh, sous vide torch, 
I was able to brown it up. You can see that. And uh, I'm going to take it in, inside and, uh, and see what it tastes like. Well, short of getting a pizza oven and uh, using this hot box out at the barbecue, let's see if this tastes as good as all the work it was that I put into it. Oh, the crust is actually not burnt. It's, uh, it's just a really good bake-off. So that's not bad at all. Hmm. Hmm. The crust does have a really nice crisp. I thought it was burnt. I was wrong. Actually, where it touches the stone, yeah, it's cooked well, but it's not burnt burnt. Mmm. It's a good pizza. I feel a lot better right now because I learned something about the dough from this vendor. And I just remembered, I torched off the top, which really does help it. Gives it a great flavor, gives it a char flavor. Mm hmm. It's good. My compliments to the chef. <laughs> yeah, I might give the stone four to five stars. I, I'll figure out if there was a downside. But um, it does work. It, it's just a little more work than I wanted.